Hello, gorgeous, beautiful stars. Paris Star Channel here with a new and possibly a very exciting episode, guys. <laughs> with a great pleasure, I present you the star of today's episode, which is going to be... <laughs> Dior! <laughs> Again! <laughs> Yes, guys, um, we are, we, we, we just like, just let me just say, we are continuing the walking the path of Dior, of the old, new, reformulated, repackaged foundations. And today, the star of today's episode is going to be Dior, um, which is called Dior Forever Natural Velvet Powder Foundation. Today, we're going to test it to see what's going on you know does it look, look does it look good is it worth any attention and you're gonna know my own personal opinion so yes if this is something that interests you please tune in to the party where we celebrate everyone's diversity that makes us all different and beautiful let's start today's episode with a superstar dior All right, guys, so here we are back, ready to play with Dior again. I am so excited. Before we're gonna jump into the subject, let me just show you the experience when you shop at Dior, guys. First things first, you have a package. And what is really very nice and very important worth mentioning is that the package comes sealed there is a seal so if you are going to see that the seal is broken looks like someone was diving into your package <laughs> which is not very cool isn't it so yes then you break the seal and then you open the box and this is how it looks like and then guys <laughs> it looks so nice so pretty you take this out of the box there is a facture in here and eventually the procedure if you would like to return your package. Who would like to return your? Who would like to return it? Yeah, but, but there is. And so this is how uh, the, the box presents itself. But the most important thing is the shopping. So you have this gorgeous, beautiful bag. Oh my gosh, the details. It screams luxury. You just want, I mean, me. I just want to buy sometimes and make some shopping at Dior. Then you open here. You pull this. And then... <laughs> there is a little pouch. And inside this little pouch... You have some samples, so I got the free samples in a form of Dior Prestige La Creme. And then the Dior Forever Mini Foundation. Look how cute this looks like. <laughs> I love it. Like, but uh, which is fair enough to test it if it's going to work out for me. This is in 2N. Normally I'm 1.5 and 2N might be a little bit too dark, but nonetheless, it's here. It's cute with that little pouch. I love it. I love it. And then, of course, you continue unboxing. And guys, inside, the product is is protected by this kind of like paper. Like, it's there's a Dior on this paper. The details. The details. It is incredible. And then you take out from the box the star of today's episode, which is this this gem guys and it is dior forever natural velvet um uh, no transfer a long well compact foundation concentrated floral skincare guys this is how the product looks like and yeah oh my gosh it absolutely looks incredible. It screams Dior. It screams, it screams luxury. I love it. The experience and the shopping experience at Dior, it is, in my opinion, at the highest level. So I love it. Guys, before we're gonna go to the demo and the application, 
first what are we going to do actually we're going to jump into the website when we are going to read what the official website can say about this old new reformulated repackaged product all right guys so here we are at the official website of dior and now we can see this foundation mine is in the shade 1.5 n because normally in general i feel myself best at that shade which is 1.5 n when it's available because it's not always available in all uh, foundations uh, presented by Dior. So we read the description guys and what we read Dior Forever Natural Velvet is the first no transfer Dior compact foundation with 24 hour wear composed with 90% natural origin ingredients. It is incredible. Dior is definitely known now for reformulating its it's hits basically back in the past they had the the most famous the best products and despite of that that they were selling very well their products they decided to stop selling this, this these products to reformulate them and to reintroduce them once again and this foundation is one of them and it has 90 percent natural origin ingredients it is incredible Ultra soft and light, it brings a naturally matte perfection to the complexion with a fine and creamy texture that lets the skin breathe while offering a sensation of comfort that lasts all day. Its high coverage corrects blemishes, smooths and evens out the complexion. Con concentrated in floral care, it improves the quality of the skin day after day. Its formula contains an extract of iris with a protective properties an extract of rose to refine pores and an extract of wild pansy to help preserve hydration and improve the sensation of comfort. I mean, guys, we are talking about the powder foundation. How is that possible? As you could see for up, up, up to now, you could not see any kind of a powder foundation featured on my channel because my skin is like, I'm over 40 years old, my skin is normal to dry and I'm just scared of powders, you know? I'm scared that the powders is going to suck out life of my, of my skin and change my skin into the raisin. But according to what yours is saying, this foundation is absolutely different. It's supposed to take care about your skin and improve the look of your skin. The powder. <laughs> what? I mean, well, okay. After my last test of Dior Capture Total Serum Foundation, I am willing to believe what anything Dior is saying to me. The floral skin here in this powder foundation. I don't know if I can be surprised anymore, but <laughs> let's see. Let's continue, guys. Refillable, this Dior Compact Foundation comes in an on-the-go case that facilitates, that facilitates touch-ups all day long. For a high-performance application, smooth the foundation over the skin with the sponge included. And then when it comes to benefits, 24 hour flawless complexion, no transfer, an ultra comfortable and light texture that lets the screen breathe, a luminous matte finish. Wow, okay. And then the formula, a new generation of powder as light as air, as soft as velvet, to bring the skin a sensation of comfort all day. A powder that melts onto the skin, offering it an unprecedented, precedented, whiteless sensation. A formula composed with 90% natural origin ingredients, concentrated in floral skincare, extract of iris, known for its protective properties, extract of rose to refine the pores, and extract of wild pansy to pre to help preserve hydration and improve the sensation of comfort. Then the shades. So I guess right now the most important thing is to quickly look at the ingredients if there are no any shocking surprises because sometimes you read those claims on the website and you're just like, wow, 
wow 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 and then you look into the ingredients and then you you're not wowed anymore <laughs> so yes let's look quickly at the ingredients by all means i'm not an expert but i definitely know what my skin enjoys and what my skin does not enjoy so this is just my opinion so let's have a look at the ingredients and then the first uh, ingredient is synthetic fluorophlogophyte which is a smoothing ingredient that appears very often in the cosmetics line in foundations or in powder foundations or any smoothing powder so it's the first ingredient which i wonder if it's going to be smoothing i wonder okay and then we, we have mica which might give a little bit of a luminosity uh silica uh, which might be smoothing as well and then um we go we go we go we have water which is not the first ingredient which is quite further down and then we have the flower extracts what a surprise okay from iris there is an extract um there is um there is fragrance which is which is put on purpose there is uh, extract from rose rose at centifolia flower extract and damascena flower wax so these are the extracts from a rose and then we have hydrolyzed viola tricolor extract and rosa multiflora fruit extract we have tocopherol and then troparium magis flower leaf stem extracts and guys and no alcohol and no bhd and no no surprises wow okay okay so when it comes to claims and the ingredients 90 percent of of naturally derived ingredients it is shocking there is definitely a floor this is definitely a floral skincare infused foundation this is shocking um i guess there would be brands where they would just not care about any of such they would just give you powder to slap on your face and off you go but Dior has a completely different approach. And that is why me personally, I love Dior very much. Even if the foundation will not perform super well on my skin for 24 hours or the claims, I can still forgive it because of the ingredients that will not damage my skin, that will not hurt my skin, and they will be very lightweight to the skin. And this is... This is how the Dior propose its products. So yes, guys, I am actually very excited. Those were all the claims and everything that has been uh, that you can see on the website. And right now, let's present the product from the close up and let's start the application. So here we are with a Dior Forever Natural Velvet No Transfer Longwell Compact Foundation Concentrated Floral Skin Care, the shade one point five and guys so let me open let me show you and open the packaging it looks amazing it looks incredible it screams luxury i absolutely love it and then there's a silver in here and there's a mark of dior then you open the, the package there is a mirror in here and then apart from the mirror you have the foundation and the very unique and the very unique applicator that just decided to to go flying why it is unique the applicator it's because it is two sided it has it has two sides and in a second we're going to see how Dior proposes to apply the product with this unique applicator that is by the way protected as you can see by plastic and then there is a foundation once again it's in the shade 1.5 n when i was in paris and i had a chance to consult myself with a makeup artist from dior we kind of had a chance to swatch and to test 1N and 2N. So 1N was too light and 2N was too dark. So she said most probably 1.5 for you would be the best and this is 1.5N. But then again what I would like to mention as well is that it is supposed to be refillable and there is a little bit of a 
mark in here. So I suppose if you would like to uh, buy just a refill and keep the packaging, do not throw away the packaging. I guess it is very simple to do it. All what you have to do is to... Wait. <laughs> it is... <laughs> ah, there you go. You click it out and then you just have a refill, as you can see. And then you click it back and you're good and you're done. Yes, it has a very, a very nice, a very subtle flower, uh, flower perfume. So people who doesn't like perfumes, please beware. But for my personal taste, it smells really very nice, very floral and it's for now. It is quite gentle. Okay, so this would be how the foundation looks like, the presentation of the foundation and the compact. Let's right now jump into the applicator because I think that this is something that is very interesting as well. So when you take this, this, this protection, you have the applicator and there are two uh, two sides. One is very smooth, very, very smooth, like velvety. And the second one, si second side is like a um, silicone sponge, I suppose. So right now, let's have a look at the official Dior little clip, a little video, so that we can see for ourselves how the product should be applied. All right, so there you have it, the video, and what we can see, we can see beautiful models that they present themselves, and the first step, apply with a velvety side. Okay, so the velvety side is for the application, and yes, they're applying, and then the step two, smooth and perfect with the sponge side. Okay, so the velvet side is for the application, and the sponge side is to distribute the product. This is how it looks like. So yes, this is what are we going to do right now. There it is, the foundation and... Okay, so I don't know if the camera can pick this up. Let me help. Okay, this is the velvety side and I don't know if you can see it, there is a little layer of the velvety side and then on top there is a sponge side. Very interesting applicator. So yes, okay, let's let's <laughs> let's do it. Let's try the application. So I'm going to take this velvet side and take some of the foundation. Okay. Oh wow, okay, it is very interesting to the touch. And first we're going to apply to half of my face and see the, the results, okay? I guess that type of a powder foundation is the foundation that you need to play with it just a little, you know? It will not be applied in a very quick, quickly way, you know, <laughs> it's not like you would apply a normal, um, a normal liquid foundations. Okay, now when I am applying it, I kind of sen smell the perfume, the floral perfume, so I can definitely say that it might not be for everyone. Um, the, the velvet side, Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah, this is this is what what I said. It's you definitely need to have some some time to apply uh, the foundation because it is it's not going very quick as as you must as you might be used to. Do. But as you can see, it is buildable. It is very nice. It is definitely matte. It is um velvety matte it is smoothing wow okay just out of the curiosity since there are no alcohols and no suspicious products 
um, no suspicious ingredients in here. I'm going to apply a little bit in my under eye area to see. Okay, so that might not be very good for my under eye area because it did give me a little bit of a of the of the coverage at the same time my I can see instantly my fine lines and wrinkles so may that might not be the case for me but I think when it comes to application I think this is more than enough so what I can say right away that it is a very light to medium coverage but definitely very very light if you would like more coverage this foundation might not be with you but for me personally for my personal taste it is quite cool guys so this is the side with the foundation and this is the side without the foundation i see the difference I definitely see the difference for those type of a day days of makeup no makeup for everyday use for touch-ups so far when it comes to first impressions it is quite cool I am going to use now the sponge side too to see how what it does what it does Yeah, it, it picks up some some of the products, but well, basically the coverage is really very, it's not like the coverage is here, but it's definitely a very light coverage. So if you like for powder foundations with more coverage, that might be not for you. If you have some, some, uh, some things that you would like to cover, that foundation might not be the one to do the job. Nonetheless, for me, personally, and this is my personal opinion, I like it, I enjoy it. Okay, so right now I am going to apply the foundation to the other side of my face right over here and we'll see the result. Okay, so it is applied now with a velvety side and now it's time to turn to the to the sponge side and even everything out as it was shown in the videos. Good. I think we're good in here. So guys, let me approach now and show you how this foundation is going to look like from the close-up so I can definitely confirm that is rather a light coverage so certainly this foundation might not be for everyone if you would like from your foundation to give you more coverage this might not be the one it's definitely a very lightweight quite matte but not like very dry matte I do not sense any dryness as you can see my fine lines well there are there are definitely here exposed in in my under eye area but that's normal but in general it looks quite cool it looks quite good the dryness is not really very exposed around my face skin is still quite bouncy I prepared my skin of course before applying the foundation and in touch it is very nice the skin is very nice velvety smooth the pores are not accentuated so everything looks nice but I suppose if I would like to find words to describe this foundation I would say that is delicate and subtle delicate and subtle when it comes to finish and when it comes to coverage so bear that in mind that if you're looking for a higher coverage that foundation might not be for you but 
that's it when it comes to application let me finish the makeup and let me come back and have some thoughts and then we'll continue with the episode okay guys and so here we are back here we are back with a finished makeup and i must say i can't stop touching myself <laughs> So weird, because I'm used to uh, get, uh, using the cream products, the liquid products, and it's always like, don't touch, don't touch, don't touch, because they're kind of like moving around with your face expressions. This, this is smooth. This is velvety math, math, <laughs> matte, and it won't move. So on my face, something has happened, but not too much. A little bit of a blush, a little bit of a highlighter, a little bit of a bronzer to add myself, a little bit of a color and dimension. And this is the final look for now. The only issue that I had was, it's because it is so velvety smooth in the touch so that my my blush it didn't want to attach to my face it kind of was disappearing and I was applying and blending and it was disappearing because maybe of the foundation that is so smooth I wonder am I crazy the synthetic fluorophlogophyte might do its job in here in this foundation but enough of this the final thoughts will happen after right now let me approach and show you this makeup look from the close-up It is nice. It is really very nice. Light coverage, certainly. I don't know even if I can build it to medium coverage. Certainly light coverage. But guys, it is a very pretty light coverage and it looks like second skin as well. And I'm a little bit like shook for now because I was always scared of the powder foundations. I always thought that they're going to take life out of my face, you know, and they won't give it back. But this, it looks nice. It looks really nice. It certainly fits into my comfort zone when it comes to makeup, no makeup. And yeah, I can't be mad how it looks like. So yes, guys. This is the application and demo. Right now, let's continue with the episode and I'll see you in just a second in the outside, in the outside light so that we can see it, how it looks like in the natural uh, environment. And then I'll see you in the studio for my final check-in and my final thoughts about this unique product from Dior, which is... Dior Forever Natural Velvet No Transfer Longwear Compact Foundation Concentrated Floral Skincare. So yes, I'll see you in just a second. <laughs> Hello gorgeous beautiful stars. Paris Star Channel here with a check-in in the outside world. And oh my gosh, look at this outside world. How pretty. Because we are pretty far away from Paris, thousands of kilometers in the one of seven Canary Islands. This one is called Fuerteventura in the village called Caleta de Fuste. Guys, how beautiful, how gorgeous it is in here. At the same time, Fuerteventura, Fuerte, strong, Ventura, wind, strong wind, the island of the strong wind. The wind is really strong. Hello, can you hear me? I hope that this video audio will not be interrupted enough so that we can continue with the super important check-in. <laughs> so yes, guys, the wind is just the wind is just blowing guys, the wind just blowing and I've never been blown so hard like I've been blown in here in Fuerteventura, the island of the strong wind. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh guys, okay, now on to the subject of this video which is, which is the check-in in the natural light. I am wearing the foundation from Dior and this is how it looks like in the natural light, guys. You will have to wait just a few more minutes for the final check-in and my final opinion based on 
my experience while using this product but this is how it looks like in the natural light guys in the meantime can you actually hear it it is so calm and quiet and now when I'm starting to film <laughs> there is an airplane coming <laughs> Oh, yeah. Life, guys, what can I do? So, uh, yeah, excuse the noise, excuse the noise. We need, <laughs> we need to wait for the, for the airplane to pass. Uh, can you please hurry up because I am filming. So yes, please excuse me for many, many interruptions in the form of the wind. Can you hear me? There's a microphone here on the top of the camera and the airplanes and whatnot. But guys, to the subject. To the subject, I'm approaching once again to show you how the makeup looks like while using the Dior Forever Velvet Powder Foundation so that you can have your own judgment guys all right since we're going to see each other in just a second in my in not mine studio <laughs> it's just a, you know with my in my hotel room so since we're gonna see each other in just a few minutes for my final uh, opinion I am not going to share with you my final opinion right now but yes this is how the makeup looks like in the natural light and I think it looks quite cute I think it looks quite pretty quite blurring so yes guys that would be all when it comes to um, to uh, check in in the natural light <laughs> here when I am enjoying my life and my holidays like the tropical holidays in October because why not and I'm doing the check-in thousands of kilometers away from Paris because why not <laughs> okay guys enough of this foolishness let's go back to the studio for the final check-in and my final opinion about the product the powder foundation Dior forever Oh God, it's beautiful stars. Paris Star Channel here, back in Paris, guys. My holidays has been so good, has been so much fun that I, 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 I just didn't find time to, far, to, to film. I did not have found the time to film the final summary about the product from Dior, which is Dior Forever Natural Velvet, guys. These holidays in the Canary Islands in Fuerteventura has been so good. I was shook how many people actually are having holidays out of the real summer holiday season because we are in autumn, it's October. I was shook. I was shook in the house down boots. How many people are actually traveling? Oh my gosh. But then again, it was great. It was so much fun. And there was like 25 degrees all the time. Very warm, but not hot, which I personally adore. You know, when the heat is just not tiring you. It was warm, but not hot. With a little bit of a breeze, ocean. And, ah, oh, guys, it was incredible. And then, and then... I was just having so much fun that I ran out of time to film the final check-in and my final summary. And now I'm in Paris. There is an autumn in a full glory. <laughs> Which is not the same when, it com when, <laughs> when it's compared to Fuerteventura. One of the seven Canary Islands. But, you know, life. It is what it is. But the most important thing is I lost my all-inclusive... Where is all my inclusive, guys? Oh, I had to buy and make my own breakfast. 
Oh, the all-inclusive is just the best. <laughs> okay, never mind, never mind, because I digress. We are supposed to have a summary about the Dior Forever Natural Velvet Powder Foundation, guys. So, first I'm going to start with the things that, well, they didn't quite work out. Which is, the Dior Forever Natural Velvet Foundation is a foundation that gives you a very light natural coverage. And as you can see here, I have some, some things that I would like to cover. This powder will not cover it. I can layer it, layer it, layer it, and it won't change anything because the powder, this powder foundation is not going to cover it. If I would have to compare this product to anything, I would compare it that it's a product between the skin tint and the foundation. It gives better coverage than the tint, but it gives lower coverage than the foundation. It's something like in between. So, if you are a person that likes to look for a better coverage, this powder foundation is not going to be for you. On the other hand, if you are a person that are looking for a light coverage, perfected coverage, airbrushed coverage, yes, this is the powder. This is the product that you're probably looking for. So, you know, there's something for something. And I guess uh, it's like in life, you can't please everyone. And then the second thing is that is pretty common to Dior uh, foundations. No shade over here. Absolutely. There's no shade about that to admit that the Dior foundations, they oxidize. They change its color. This is the 1.5N and, you know, when you buy it, you might think, like, when it comes to my neck, okay, that might be actually a very perfect shade. And then you apply it and then this is the real thing. On top of that, look at the sponge. Why it gets so dark of this product? Why, 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 like, you would never say that it's the same product. Yeah. It is actually the same product. What, 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 what is the shade? 10N? It's supposed to be 1.5N. So there is no shade. But I want to be absolutely sincere on my channel. Please be prepared that if you are fair tone, 1.5 might be already too dark. And the oxidation doesn't happen instantly. It happens during the course of time when in the half of the day of the wear, or like by the end of the day, it is for me a little teeny tiny too dark. Especially for this season when we have autumn, when we have winter, we lose our tan and our skin is going back to its normal shade. As you can see, it is a little bit too dark because it changes its color. On the other hand, this is what Dior is known for, so, you know, no shade, but there is, this is definitely something that I have to mention on my channel and just be sincere about that, you know? So if I would have to use this product, probably I would have to explore it in the shade 1N or maybe even 0.5 if it exists, if it's available, because 1.5 was a little bit of a surprise. So these were the things that I... I did not enjoy as much. But then there are things that are definitely great, which is, as well, the coverage. If you are a person that are looking for a low coverage, a powder that can be used for retouching really very easily during the day, that's the product. And on top of that, looks it's so gorgeous. It's so slim. It fits everywhere. You can take it everywhere with you. It's extremely easy to take it. It's extremely easy to use as a retouch. And it's, it's great. So it gives you a low coverage. And then it smooths like nothing. <laughs> Guys, it smooths like, like a dream. Okay? So your skin... If I would have to find words, your skin is perfected, your skin is airbrushed, your skin looks beautiful with the super delicate, subtle coverage, and that is approach from, from Dior. And then there is another thing that is very important, that this powder foundation 
filled with floral skin care from Dior does not dry my skin. It's like more than any other makeup, you know. This was a huge, huge surprise for me. It does not dry my skin more than any other makeup. As you can see, my fine lines and wrinkles are not accentuated as as they would be with any other product, you know. It's just, you know, it's just looks normal it looks normal it looks natural so it looks like the this this is something that was absolutely very surprising to me because i was prepared okay i am using a powder product so it's definitely going to kind of try to you know suck the life out of my face no it didn't it didn't it looks all it looks beautiful all day long and it is actually a very transfer proof non drying formula filled with skincare guys usually when i am using products that are liquid products cream products i basically don't touch my face that's not the case in here i can touch it without being afraid of anything and just look at this no 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 no, 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 no transfer, guys. <laughs> no transfer, no transfer. This is a transfer proof powder foundation. Their formulation is absolutely incredible. And it's that type of a product when you touch your face, just sometimes by accident, you don't have to be afraid that part of the makeup will just vanish because it won't. So the wear is absolutely beautiful and gorgeous and subtle and airbrushed and perfected during the whole day. So I suppose there will not be any surprise if you are a person like me that likes to have a very light coverage and would li likes to have a perfected skin. There won't be any surprise when I'm going to tell you that Paris Star Channel gives a green light to this Dior Forever Natural Velvet Powder Foundation filled with skincare. It is a gorgeous product filled with the floral skincare that doesn't dry my skin more than any other makeup that wears very nice during the whole day. No transfer and I love it guys. And I love it. So yes, if this is the product for you, you would have to make your own decision. Um, maybe my video will help you and will give you the answers you are looking for about this particular product. So yes, guys, this episode has come to an end, but I already invite you to the next episode when we are going still to jump to gorgeous Fuerteventura, Canary Island, when I am going to have a little bit of a get ready with me because obviously I was far away from my studio, from my products that are always waiting to be tested. So I decided to prepare a little bit of a light, funny episode, get ready with me, my own version of makeup, no makeup, where you are away uh, from home, from, from, from your daily things and you are, uh, you want to have a little bit of a makeup and what can you take to be minimalistic and still look gorgeous and glamorous with a light, beautiful, beautifying coverage. The next episode is going to be all about that when I'm going to show you my own version of that kind of a beautifying makeup, no makeup. In the meantime, guys, this episode has come to an end. Thank you so very much for watching. Thank you so very much for tuning in and celebrating with me diversity and beauty because diversity makes us all different and beautiful. <laughs> so yes, guys, this episode has come to an end. I'm sending you warm greetings from Paris with love. See you soon. Bye bye now as for now. <laughs>